Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel to another episode of Darkfire Heroes and today we want to have a deeper look at Lorenzo. He is a damage dealer and in this video we will talk about his base stats, how you should use him and for sure which items you should apply, which skills he has and which skills should be leveled up the first and what his ratings are in the different modes at Darkfire Heroes. So thank you guys for tuning in, really appreciate it. If someone else is new here, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for free to my channel. Let's get ahead and have a look at Lorenzo. Right now I have him on level 19 and he's a damage dealer living at the top of a bell tower. He has been struck by lightning many times. His charged bells make him strong against small groups of tough enemies. And this background story already gives us a hint about his strength and he is especially good against small groups up to medium sized groups of tough enemies as he is doing quite a lot of damage. He is from the element air and he is a common card which will be unlocked for you as soon as you reach level 5 then you have the chance to get him out of every hero card chest. Right now he got the power of 3000 for sure there is no item equipped but we will have a look at it later on. Coming to his base stats he has 664 health points with a defense of 122 and a protection of 244 so that means he is um, much more strong against uh, magical damage as he has a double amount of protection compared to defense and the protection allows him to use his hero power quite fast as the crowd control spells like freeze will not be uh, applied to him that long as you already should know the higher the protection the less the time of being frozen by a freeze spell furthermore he has a damage of 104 Crit chance of 5% and a crit damage of 100%. He is causing physical damage with his auto attack and he is melee attacking. So he is not a distance character with his auto attack. He has an attack speed of 2.4 seconds which is quite slow compared or it up with his damage that makes him um, to or brings him to 23.33 damage per second on level 10 which is not that much but his strength comes with his hero power and his hero power is called chain lightning fires a lightning bolt at a single enemy the lightning jumps to nearby enemies dealing 66 percent damage to up to three extra targets charges a single enemy and the damage is 280 which is quite a lot and the type is magical that's why he's really important free to play hero causing magical damage with his hero power but not with his out attack quite similar to Carl. even Carl is doing aoe damage with his hero power but he is a melee fighter as well causing physical damage with his auto attack and magical with his hero power and jumps right now three so he will attack in total four enemies coming to his skills which make him even stronger first what is called crazy eyes when Lorenzo receives the debuff his damage and protection increase can trigger three times cool on five seconds and that's why he's already really good at race or that's a little add up why he's good at race as the enemies use quite a lot debuffs on your side so he will increase his damage and his protection up to three times with cooldown of five seconds and that perfectly fits with the enemy spells as uh, they will not be used every second so the cooldown is not really necessary for us and on a lot of um, race modes or maps there are some enemies causing debuffs as well it will be up to 15 percent more damage and 30 percent more protection on rank three times three 45% damage and 90% more protection, which is quite a lot of brace protection. That's really, really cool. Second skill, Lorenzo gains a bonus to health called Durable. 50, 100 or 150 health points added up. The third one is called Concusive Strike. Chance of dazzing enemies in a small area when striking with an auto attack. So that forces the enemies to attack slower. That can be helpful. Trigger chance is 10, 20 and 30%. This is auto attack speed, it's not that good. Mm. But it's but it's okay and will help you um, in some modes. And the last one, the important 
for the most important one called high voltage. Lorenzo's chain lightning can jump to more targets, up to four, five or six jumps. That's seven enemies you can hit at once for sure. The first one will get 100% damage, the other ones will receive 66% damage, which is still a lot for a hero power, which is not causing directly AOE damage. And that makes him to really good hero at the race mode. Coming to his gear slots, he has two attack slots, two defense slots and one magical slot. And it would cost me 2660 coins to bring him to level 20. So after we've talked about his base stats and his skills, we should have a look at one of his special modes and that's the hero race. And I will equip him now with my um, items and we will have a look at him later on. Uh, I have equipped not the best items to him as my main damage dealer is still Lears, but for the race modes where air is boosted for example, or where there, there are some, some enemies on your line taking further magical damage, he's really good to use. Hopefully we can win it. I'm not sure. I did not play race for, I don't know, two or three weeks. I only played uh, Arena Castle Conquest and was quite happy. And we will fight against the bot as it is loading so long. We have quite a high elo. No, Ooh, that will be a hard enemy. But if we lose, we lose. We will try our best. Um, my personal opinion about Lorenzo will have a um, feedback at the end. I think he's a little bit overrated, but you may know it better. And the enemy has level 25 Joss, so it should be doable. So let's hopefully try to get them. We are placing directly. Okay, we were not able to place the chain lightning. However, our uh, the air did do so much damage. Trying to slow down the enemy and directly placing the Mukunidin behind. Now we need to place Lanzo's lightning. Fortunately, we were not able to hit everything there, but it was still quite good. And now there, as you already can see, he needs a little bit longer to get towards the tower as he is a melee hero. But for sure it will help us. And there comes an idea. We have three melee fighters in our team. Maybe we are doing a video about a full melee team and see if we can win the race. It would be an interesting thing. And as you can see, the chain lightning is not causing that much damage here, but it's still good. It is causing um, at a lot of enemies the damage. For sure it would be higher. Let's place the rage spell and there we go. GG, well played. So now we could see Lorenzo in action. Um, for sure he will be much better with his hero power uh, with his four skill leveled up and his hero power targeting more enemies but it's i think it's okay and i might level up these skills with that said we should have a look at his skills and which things should be level up the first so his overall rating is an a he has an a rating at the campaign at race he's especially good with the s plus um as he's Striking magical damage against the enemies and the light chain lighting jumps over up to six uh, additional enemies Which uh, brings him to taking seven enemies, which is really really good um, At castle he has a B rating um, a lot of enemies or the heroes of the enemies most have, uh, Applied a lot of protection and there as his hero power cannot critical hit um, is not that good against these enemies but still a B rating and boss he has only the F rating, most likely because he is a melee fighter. And his hero power, he will not help that much against the boss. For sure, if the enemy boss spawns a lot of enemies, it will help you. But he is not good to use at boss. At level C, he has an S rating. That's why I made this video. At the weekend, there will be six different level stages. And I thought it's a good idea to make a video about him. And furthermore, at Waves, he has a B rating. At the level C, he is good. Mm, at most or a lot of the levels have these medium sized groups of enemies that's why he is a little bit better there compared to the campaign for sure there are the levels out of the campaign but especially the scaling of the enemy uh, level is not that high compared to the campaign at least in the later stages and that's why you can run the first levels of uh, level challenge quite fast that's why he has an s rating there so which skill should you now level up the first? Um, the first one, if we remember it, um, 
is really really good to use and was called crazy eyes so that's the damage increase and protection increase and this will help you in every single mode um, at least the damage and for sure for campaign uh, the protection will help you as well you are more durable cannot respawn that's why there you should level up it to level three as well um race and castle more damage output really important levels and waves more damage uh, the faster you may clear the, the stages and we have the second skill which was called the durability skill which is increasing the health points so for race and castle it is not that important uh, as you can respawn for levels and waves I think it's not 100% necessary, especially for levels where you want to be fast and use them in the first levels, maybe not use them in later levels, but it's highly depending on the enemy type. If they're taking more magical damage for sure, you can use them in the later stages as well. Um, at levels, you may level him up uh, as well. And at the waves, hmm. If your frontline dies at the waves, uh, the 150 more health points of Lorenzo will not help you to survive that much longer. That's why I would not level up that skill for this mode. The third skill is the uh, Concusive Strike, uh, which the, with the chance of dazzling the enemy. At race, it is not that important. Dazzling the enemy lane, yeah, that will be slower, but it will not help you that much. At the castle, it will help you a little bit more, as uh, they are staying quite close to each other, and you can dazz more um, enemies in the small area. At levels it will not help you that much and at waves when the enemies are really close to each other that should help you that's why this is level up on that mode as well campaign the more durable the better that's why it's leveled up there as well and the fourth skill is the best skill the chain lightning will jump up to six enemies and you should definitely level up or consider leveling up this skill in every single mode or for every single mode and if you want to if you, if you want to level or skill the skills efficient way and then you should go for the 3113 to save up some austerity. Not that much, but it will help you. So, with that said, we should now have a look at his items. Jumping back to Lorenzo. Here we go. And I have brand new item equipped to him the Sword of Norland Hilt, as well as the Sword of Norland Plate. There is a simple reason. We want to buff his damage. He cannot critical hit. That's why we don't want to buff the critical hit chance. And this set is giving us additional 40 damage and additional 33% damage of the Sword of Norland item and 4% of the Sword of Norland plate. If he would be my main damage dealer, I would go for sure for the Troll Spin Ring as well as the Blood Goblet, as this will boost his damage even more. Or maybe even the Fey Crystal with the 60%, but the crit damage will not help us that much, so I would not waste that item on him. I would go for the Troll Spin Ring. Add the defensive slot, Coin of Norland, some further health pool, as well as a little bit more damage. And if you compare just these two items to, the, to, his, uh, to his durable skill, you can already see that it is not that that good. And on his... Yeah, on his... Um, Magical slot I have equipped right now protection to boost it even more that he can use his hero power quite often even he gets frozen But there you can go for sure for the crit rate with the Lux Brook even he only can crit with his auto attack Or you can go if you want to make him durable for the campaign with some items which boost the defense with a flat value um, As his uh, defense is the lower stat and that should help you to be more durable during the campaign so where do we have do we have something like and that was plus 30 not that much um plus 78 that should you help you a little bit more there or even the forefather urn which is quite hard to get so mainly focus at him on damage if you have a damage item for the defense let go for it um you can a look at Lear's, I have a tech item or an item boosting the, the damage on the defense and the magical slot. That could be possible for Lorenzo as well if he is your core damage dealer at race. For sure go for it. And if you don't have that much still, go still the um, gold spin rings are good to use at him. Um, that's my opinion. And now it's your turn guys. What are your thoughts about Lorenzo? I personally, to come back to a short summary. I think he is a little bit overrated to be honest for the race or 
time to dump to use him. For sure he is good. And I think there are some better ones which you can use. But he will help you especially in the early game. As a really good magical damage dealer with his hero power at the race. For sure there is Yara as well. But I like Lorenzo. With his magical hero power as well. So that's it about Lorenzo. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like it. Thumb up and share it with your friends. And we will see us in tomorrow's video about Darkfire Heroes. We will have a look at the weekend event first day. And I wish you all the best. And we will see us tomorrow on the battlefield. The next video about Darkfire Heroes.